What's happening? Get ready on, for us. We're going live. Yeah, right. Fellas, this is the chance of the three oh, part five. Cheers, my business, guys. Cheers, fellas. What's going on? Well, What's up? This, this is the chance of the three point five. To be a fly on the wall. Cheers, and the barbershop of Jim in the bathroom stall. Oh, when he's on his way from hanging out of work. Hello. And the chance of the three point five. To be a fly on the wall. And the barbershop of Jim in the bathroom stall. Oh, when he's on his way from hanging out of work. Hello. At the end of the day, do you ever just want to get into a huddle to listen rebuttal or just plain understand what's happening nah, in yeah. the cave of a man? Yeah. 3.5. Yeah. All right, all right. You ready? Nervous is great. It means you're outside your comfort zone. But growth happens. a.m. I'm on my knees. I never wanted my daddy so bad. And then something clicked. And I knew there were only two possibilities. One, I was going to be the best father the planet had ever seen. Or two, I was going to be dead. Uh, a whole lot of stuff. More than anything, it's the things I did wrong. You experienced loss. How did you bounce back? My father was the foundation of my life. I'm just a little boy. You're a beautiful person. <laughs> We're about to go get our bridge climb on. We're really high and it's really windy. It was excruciating going through this book. I've got different stories and different perspectives on things. And I had a shift in perception of what it means to love somebody. What are you drinking over there, Dilo? Michelob Ultra. Ooh, a Get Michelob the Ultra. fuck. Wow. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> You gonna watch some NASCAR too? Was that, <laughs> was, that, was that a? Are you gonna play some beer pong with that beer? <laughs> what about the solo cup? I have some IPA Where's over the, there, but I forgot that? that I pressed the button for this when I ordered it. Press and the um, well, you know, like when you order Instacart. Ah, uh, look at this guy! Yeah. Even his fucking booze gets delivered. <laughs> wow, bougie. Yep. Got to play a little cornhole later on? What's going on? Hey, I, can, well, I will say this. The girl that delivered it tonight, man, she was really cute. I was like... Why don't you ask her out, dude? Shit, I'm so weird now. <laughs> Pandemic so weird. and stuff. You're so weird and strange and creepy. Yeah, I probably was already <laughs> staring at her funny. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I like that jersey, man. Is that a Detroit? Is that, is that like a, a Detroit Tigers jersey? Or is that like a custom Darren Lorenzo jersey right there? Custom. This is 07. This is D. And on the back, it says up with an on. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Look at that guy. Internet person. When you, when, you, when you don't leave the house, you find all kind of things that you can just either purchase or get or win or <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like it's the blessing and the curse of being at home for like uh what shit what is it now almost been a year and a half i'm about to start i i, I started buying piece pieces by pieces and i'm gonna start uh uh doing like a fucking home project building my own soundproof panels for my wall well yeah you do own your spot so you could do that kind of stuff well, the thing is that I'm 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 building the, the 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 panels out of like you know frames where it's basically like hanging a picture, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just then it's just a matter of drilling some holes for some screws for like if I'm hanging a picture, you know, because I'm gonna put them on like French cleats. Oh, cool! And then I'm gonna hang them on the wall just Thank for you. sound for sound absorption absorption. I was going There's no way I can really show you guys what my thing. I have my little sound booth yeah i bought the little one nice man i might be able to take a picture of it in a minute but yeah 
and I finally got my fucking the monitors that uh that I wanted to get with the amp. They're all very like old Yamaha amps and monitors. They don't make them anymore, but they're like robots, like the standards. You know, oh. like if any studio that that you would see, if it has a big ass fucking professional console, it'll have these type of monitors right there. These Yamaha NS tens. Oh, I know they have NS tens. Yeah, yeah, they're the ones that go uh, uh, horizontally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah, with yeah. the with the white cones, right? The famous white cones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those are dope. I turned them on, man, with with this like old uh, like older amp. That again, they don't make them anymore. Oh. And the fucking wall started shaking. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't just that, but like it was, it was like it was like 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 silky smooth, fucking nice, crisp, full sound, man. It was like, and these aren't these are meant to be kind of shitty, but not really shitty, but not so. Uh, they they don't uh, you know they're not like a, they don't have like a bass boost or this and that nothing. They're to, they're meant to be flat. But there's a big difference when, when you have like older, maybe not so professional, inexpensive monitors. And when you when you put on some pro shit, like what the fuck? Good stuff. <laughs> Do you like the is the uh, bottom of it sound good? The bottom, like the the bottom end? Yeah, bottom end. Uh yeah, the low end is, is good, but it's not meant to go really that much under like a hundred hertz. So you're never gonna really get like that full full like sub, you know? Right. That sub bass, you're not. You, you're gonna know that it's there, kinda, but you're not gonna feel it or even really get that oomph that you need. They I always love that. They concentrate mainly on like midish range. Well, that's good though. Yeah, because that's as long as it's not tinny and everything. No, because that's where that's where you can't hide away from the vocals. Because that's where yeah. you know that's where everything sits. So they're doing a happy make, medium. If you make it good, if you make them sound good here, it's gonna sound good traditionally, anywhere, you know. That's dope. Yeah, it's a dope. But yeah, man. But I'm gonna start doing on my my handy dandy, uh, fucking uh, arts and crafts shit, making sound panels. <laughs> <laughs> How's work for you, George? Works crazy. I mean, it's like. Uh... You know, we just started the summer semester, so that's a little crazy. You know, people from all over the world just start showing up, and it's like, are yeah. you going to the place, or are you are still from? Uh, home? I've been working. I've been working fully home you know, yeah. since March. You had to go in a couple times, right? I had to go in twice, like for board meetings. So, like our, you know, our board is like Matthew Modine is like the the chair, like one of the main chairs of our board of directors so it's like but not even the, those meetings they can't even do it on a zoom they can i just don't know why they don't i mean it's you, right. well, everyone you know, it's a big huge conference room everyone's six feet apart it's there's protocol to get in you have to take a pcr you have to you know there, there's protocol in place and it's safe but they do. So it would have been better just to do the Zoom. <laughs> temperature I, checks. Temperature checks, the whole thing. Cause that, you got to put pants on. That's all. So, well, that's another thing. It's like, oh, man. I have to yeah. wear my stretchy jeans. Yeah, with, with the zipper in the pocket. Oh, man. I <laughs> Zipper and, and the button. Went out last night, man. And I was I was really was sitting here like a woman. And I thought, trying to get ready. I was like, can't wear that. Try this <laughs> on. Can't wear that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's a little. It's it's been a little. It's been look. It's def- definitely been an odd year. Um, it was nice. It's been nice to to start going back out again. Like, I just started doing that. I just started like being introduced to like humans. So I went out for a dinner like last week. I haven't done that in ages. <laughs> Is this better, gents? Is, am, am, I, am I off the baby pacifier? The yeah. fuck is that? A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle can? What the terrapin. hell are you drinking? It's a Who? terrapin. I don't know what that is. It looks like a Teenage Mutant Terrapin Mutant. IPA. All right. It's a nipple. Well, you, 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 you do have a... Vol- high volume in alcohol. You do have the scully on. The, the, the fucking knit hat on. No, you need the glasses and the tight and the and the skinny jeans and you're good to go. <laughs> well, it won't be anything skinny on me for a while, but 
I can put some glasses on. Oh, that's what we were gonna. That's what we were talking about. Um, I think now is the time for every fucking pant company, jean company, to just be full on stretchy jean material type. Yeah, they should make some dressy sweatpants. Yeah, I, they do have some. They do have those. Already. They do have some. Yeah, they have dressy dressy sweats and they have stretchy jeans. Yeah, yeah. But there I'm saying like more and more like that's like that might be the standard for the next year. At Easy. least, at least until people get back to their fitness goals. Yeah. Yeah. I but agree. I I have some uh uh of like the stretchy jeans. Yeah. They're fucking awesome. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought my first pair like a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, these things are amazing. Man, I, I am. I bought mine I, before the pandemic, and I'm glad that I did because during and like, well, shit. When I did put pants on with the zipper, you know, because everything else is sweatpants. But the 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 two times that I probably had to put on like regular pants has been those, and it's been awesome. Man, I am up to two sixty eight right now. Dang. Okay, I don't know what the. Where did you start from? Well, start from well, in my Jade days uh -huh. when I was doing uh, that was also workout 12, all the time. That was also thirteen years ago. So let's go. Then I was um, shit. I was one ninety five then. Um, I used to. I used to. I usually fluctuate two fifteen and two thirty. Uh, when I'm ever in a show that's more high high end, like when I was doing Madagascar, I'll be around 215, 220 just because I was sweating a lot. Yeah. But when I was in a show like, I don't know, after midnight, I would probably be about 230 just because I didn't have to do as much energetic stuff. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, Darren. It's like the beautiful thing about like getting back on the horse and just working out the beginning is where you lose like a lot of a lot of weight so it's like a lot of water weight and it's stuff. all that water weight yeah a mm -hmm. lot of water weight and you just put yourself on you know you, you, the, what i've realized about working out is really i know it sounds so silly is just having patience and being consistent like you know you're not going to lose all that weight and you know the time it took you to get that get to that weight it took time to, to gain weight it's gonna take time to lose weight so you just gotta accept like okay. mm -hmm. but that's the thing and if you're like me is like we want to like from one night from one night to the next morning we want it to fucking be like five pounds ten yeah, pounds less I, I'm, you know? I'm the same way i mean and we're all human like we, we you know people have people they do the work they lose the weight and then some the, the hardest part is just keeping it up that's the hardest part yeah it's like fuck i ate a salad today how come i didn't lose 10 pounds what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. for, and for me it's like i do i mean for me i just it's always worked for me like whenever i i want to maintain my goal i i do weight watchers i've been on weight watchers for like three years the diet thing is a def is definitely a big thing yeah macro like just macro wise or just logging your stuff and just seeing what you're putting in your system like it's important and just to know like portions or how much of something you're eating even though it's healthy yeah yeah you know, that's like the other it's thing a whole too. different like shift because it it really does come down no matter what these fad diets are yeah it's what you're putting into your body the in calories and then by you moving around and working out the calories going out yeah and that's a big part of it it's and then everybody's a little bit different because um i know like for me shit, i i had i didn't drink for almost four months and there was no shift in anything yeah it depends on your metabolism yeah metabolism was already slow because a lot of times when i'm in the house i was maybe eating one time a day but that's also not good either no i know because that'll slow down the metabolism that's what i'm saying yeah. so it's like um <laughs> They say your stomach just starts eating at itself, I guess. And I'm definitely one to definitely not always practice what I preach. I know what the fuck I have to do. Right. But doing it is a whole different thing. And I, I kind of, and I'm very honest about that. I take parts of things. Not, I, I'm not, you know, never always 100% of everything. So I'll work out. I'll do this. I'm not drinking and I haven't been drinking. And I don't really plan on going back to like, ah, whatever, you know. 
not not that we did you know we wouldn't call ourselves alcoholics but you know we enjoyed a nice beverage what the fuck um but my main biggest thing is usually and has always been the diet part of it right um but when, when i'm with my girlfriend she's the one that cooks everything and she cooks healthy and it's great and she's the one that tells me you know as her as as a personal uh trainer she would tell her clients send me a picture of your meals of everything that you're eating and then they're like oh but I, so i ate like this big bowl of, of of salad at like 10 p.m she's like what are you doing just because it's fruit does you know fruit salad just because it's fruit doesn't mean it's good for you there's a different kind of sugar grams of sugar i mean too many grams of sugar is really not good for you whether it's fruit or and like and then what it say everything in moderation right i mean like yeah and that's the thing is that i never want to go like oh i'm only gonna put dirt in my mouth and drink water no because then that that's also like you know uh uh, uh you're just setting fucking, wait, wait you're, yeah you're setting yourself up for disaster and that's not good either so, yeah yeah it, but it's definitely good to have that cheat day you know i try to work out five maybe six days a week that's great and you know but sometimes i even go seven and i do it you know mm-hmm. whatever the mood but then I, I do try to at least like you know what i will eat a pizza today what the fuck <laughs> right or or I mean, it doesn't i don't have to kill a whole thing i don't have to go to mcdonald's and eat you know like five ch- fucking wi- uh meals right. but i might i might enjoy a chicken mcnugget here and there why not no absolutely yeah. Well, listen. If you're working out six, seven days a week, it's a different thing. I mean, for me, I'm I'm trying to achieve like consistently three to four days a week, yeah. and watch what I eat. Because back in the day, you know, when I had more time, six days a week was like a normal thing for me too. It's just like, yeah, don't have that time anymore. I can't do it to work out. I just I I can't I can't do it. I I. I try to run. I try to run or Peloton anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. And then if I, and I try to do yoga twice a week. Yeah. I was telling Dilo about the, uh, the, the air bike. Like I got, that's great cardio. I used to do like a full 30, but like in a gent in, in a not gentle speed, but right. a moderate, moderate right. speed for 30 minutes. That was, that was good, Air but legit. But that's but like then a- what I did. What I what I'm doing now is more of like a like a hit, where I do full on blasting, 30 seconds, and then 30 second rest. And by rest, I mean going, you know, still in motion, uh, and then 30 seconds. And I do 10 rounds of that, so that's like 10 full minutes. That's what I do on the Peloton. But I yeah. do for like yeah. 30 or 45 minute hit workouts, and mm. I'm in literally in a pool of sweat. Yeah, like drenched and i have wear like a heart monitor and like i know i'm burning like a thousand calories like in in a 45 minute session I'm burning a, calories. Mm-hmm. Hmm. a lot but you know interesting well, for me it's more of at this point it's like i'm not trying to look like a greek god i'm yeah. trying to just stay my physical working out is not only about like me trying to like keep weight off it's like for me mentally it keeps me happy yeah and i get a lot of fucking anxiety out of my system when i'm pumping endorphins man when i'm pumping endorphins in my body and just getting to work out and getting the hell out of my house the word endorphin is a combination of the words endogenous which means produced in the body and the word morphine which is an opioid or narcotic used to treat moderate to severe pain Endorphins are opioid peptides produced by the body, and they're often called the body's natural pain relievers. They're thought to be what causes an increased sense of euphoria and well-being. Guys, I went for a run. I went for a run for the first time since I ran the marathon. I ran three and a half miles through a park four days ago, and it was gorgeous outside. I woke up the next morning. I couldn't. I I could barely walk down the stairs. <laughs> but I was so pumped from from running. I'm like, I'm going back out. My yeah. wife's like, What the fuck are you doing to yourself? 
I'm like, I don't know. It's beautiful outside, and I want to go for a run again. And I don't care if I'm fucking sore. I'm going to go out and do it. And I did it. And then I literally couldn't walk for two days, and I didn't do anything. <laughs> but it was like, you know, I'm, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is like, I was just so happy. It made me... And it was something different, right? That's another thing. It's like you can get caught in the routine of doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. I can just go outside and just go for a run. When, when it hurts to squat to take a shit, that's when you're like, ah. Eh, yeah, I'm that was a bad know. idea. And that was day two. That was day two. <laughs> my wife's like, you're a moron. I'm like, my legs are shaking. I'm trying to like bend down and take a shit. Every few years, a figure comes along who makes a stand for those coming up behind him. In comedy, it would be Lenny Bruce and Dick Gregory. Comedian Arsenio Hall went through a similar incident when he was called out by the Queer Nation live on his talk show. I think the thing that really bugged me was all the gay people that showed up at my show after that night couldn't step up and defend me because that would have been a monumental moment in their lives. If I treated them the way they treated me, I'd be a gay basher. I'm a comedian, and I'd be the best not to do a joke if it felt created some kind of pain for someone. Richard Pryor headlined a gay rights benefit at the Hollywood Bowl. He noticed that a young black dance group called The Lockers were treated poorly by the staff. Stagehands allowed them to perform with poor lighting, but were quick to help the white ballerinas. Neither side is listening to each other. Criticisms of The Closer do not focus on Chappelle's main issue, which he said was white people. Queer Nation, assuming Arsenio hasn't had a gay guest on his show when he has and confronting him for it is the type of blind spot the Guardian article was referring to. They're quick to defend their own community, but don't extend or offer much help to other marginalized communities. It's what Richard Pryor spoke on in 1977. It's what Dave Chappelle spoke on in 2021. And between those two incidents, Arsenio Hall has joined the list with his own confrontation. This isn't a gay rights issue, but a human rights issue. Three point five. The gents of three point five. Well, all right. All right.